Hi everyone, welcome to Karen from tillycrafts.co.uk I'm bringing you a card today uh, with a new stamp set um, and Father's Day is fast approaching I'm sure it's at the weekend <laughs> um, so I'm just bringing on some Father's Day cards that I've been making with a brand new stamp set uh, the stamp set is Game On um, and I really like this. It's stamped so nice, as you can see on the uh, on the cards. Um, so I've made it. I've made a few different cards, which I'll share with you at the end. But I'm going to do this one again, but in different colours. Um, I have used um, a couple of different stamp sets for the sentiments, like this Father's Day, Happy Father's Day, um, is out of the Geared Garage. And I really like that, and it does have a die with it. That's why um, I've used it on there. Um, inside it says, straight up, you're the best. Now, my thinking for that <laughs> is a straight flush or whatever I think they call it in cards. So I thought, oh, straight up, you're the best. I thought that sounds quite nice. And I got that one from this whiskey business. Um, so I took this sentiment from here. Um, I am doing a few cards with this um, at another time, so I will share them with you. So that's where I got my sentiment from. Right, let's get started. <clears throat> so, first of all, you need a piece of thick whisper white, uh, scored in half, cut in half, um, and it measures uh, four and a quarter by um, five and seven eighths once it's folded. Um, I'll just pop that to one side for now. And... These are all over the show, these. But I didn't obviously like, you know me, with my die cutting machine. I can't wait to get the mini one so I can actually do this with you. Um, but that's the uh, Father's Day that I stamped in Smoky Slate. Um, and it was cut out with that. Now, I did use a bit of uh, washi tape on here just to keep the die in place because my machine hasn't got a man i can't say a magnetic plate whereas when i get the new little one it will have a magnetic plate so that's our sentiment so i can pop that out of the way and i used the stitched stitch squares stitch rectangles just triple check yes stitch rectangles um for my boxes because these layer up really nice so that's the one for my sentiment and they do peel off nice and they give that nice stitched edging um that one isn't being layered up because it's going straight onto the card and this is for the actual stamp and i am layering it up on here and this is Knight of Navy that I'm layering it up on. I'll pop them out of the way so they don't get in our way. Um, for the sentiment, I'm actually cutting that out um, with a two inch circle punch. I did try and cut another of these shapes out, but it didn't layer up really nice so. I liked it on this one, so we're going to stick with that. Right. And for our layer, I've got smoky slate, so that's going to layer up on there. And I'm going to do a bit of background stamping on there in a moment. Right, let me just get all of the bits, make sure we've got room to stamp. Right, I'm going to stick this down first and then I don't lose it, which is always a good thing. And just stamp it on there, stamp it, stick it on there like that. And that's that bit done. Put that out of the way for later. And let me just find the right stamp. There we go. Hope your day is full of fun and games. Is all fun and games, I should say. So that's going on this one. Actually, I'm just double checking. Yeah, it is the right size. And then I've got this stamp set. <coughs> this stamp with the cards on. So 
I don't know what this is going to turn out like because obviously I did it in red before so we will I'm taking my stamp to this because it's quite a big stamp so then that way I can make sure it's covered that looks great so I just laid that up slightly to the one side uh, I'm hoping this is going in right because I can't get my head up oh, there there we go let's see what that's like oh that's stamped nice I wanted it more to this side because when we come to layer it up we're going to have that over the corner now I didn't know whether because these are hearts I didn't know whether to colour them in red but I think I'm just going to leave it as smoky slate at the moment and we'll do a little comparison at the end and see if we like it oh, hope you're all all right today oh, i think i'm having a, a bit of a lockdown down lockdown meltdown at the minute oh here we go pussy's back right Hopefully, he'll go and lie down in a minute. Right, I'll do the sentiment while we're here. Might have to just bring that towards me. Right, Pussycat, come on. You can't sit in here while I'm filming. Excuse me one minute. Hopefully, I won't knock the camera. There we go. Good boy. I think he just likes not to be left out. <laughs> right, I'm just going to line this up. I am just going to have to bring this towards me because otherwise I won't be able to see what I'm doing and you don't want to see the top of my head. Oops. There we go. That's nice. Right. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to stamp the background. And this is Smoky Slate, so it all coordinates, so it should just give. I'm just going to stamp it in the middle first, just to see if we need to stamp off. No, we don't need to stamp off. I'm just going to grab my piece of paper. So, I'm trying not to make a mess of my grid paper, but it never works that way. Right. So, anyway, you want and just stamp... I love doing this on the backgrounds. I've uh, I've done one with the dice in the set, and I'm quite pleased how that turned out as well. So, oh, uh, right in there, and then there's that little one in there. There we go. That's quite nice. So it is only a quick one today, but. I thought you might like to see it with it being a new one. There's so many possibilities with this. I know I've done these as Father's Day ones, but um, I think they'd be nice for any, like a birthday card or anything like that. Right. And all we're going to do is we're going to just lay that straight up. I'm using my Tombow because then obviously you can wiggle it about if you don't get it on quite straight. Oops. I tend to go that way in because then if I have to move it I'm not moving a load of ink all over the place there we go that's nice Let's give it a flush down now this one I did put up on dimensionals and they are just here so let's have one there on that, on that, spare backing. And because it's quite a big one, I'm just going to put one there and one there. So it gives a, a little bit of support in the middle. Right. I'm quite excited. I got my, my new stuff out of the catalogue the other day and... I was just sat looking at it on my desk because I just didn't know what to play with first. So, but I'm just layering up about there. It's nice. 
our encampment straight down. Sometimes I don't like lots of things stuck up. I think it's nice to uh, have some stuck down. I did actually forget to put the um, little clover, not a clover, a club on. I'll do that in a minute though. I knew to forget something. Right now, because we're putting that like this, I'm going to put glue in this top corner here. And then I'm going to add my dimensionals down here. And then they don't interfere with the corner of that. Let's make sure. I can put one there. Put one there. Whoops. There we go. And then that little bit of glue will help it stick on. Like that. There we go. <sighs> right. Let me bring in the little little club. I'm going to actually do it in um, Night of Navy. I think it'll look good in Night of Navy. Oh, Just fit on there. There we go. Quite like that. Yes, I'm happy with that. Right now for the inside, like I said, we're just going to stamp. Oops, the straight up whiskey business. Let me just grab that. There we go, that looks nice. I love the way this stamps actually. It's like um, outline stamping on the top. And then I'll just come back in with the little uh, club. Just let me clean that off. I don't want my navy ink getting in uh, in here, which I've done before now. Put one there and one there. There we go, and that's my card. So I hope you've liked that. Um, I will show you these others now that I've done because I'm quite impressed with myself actually. So that's our original, and that's the one in the smoky slate you'll have to let me know in a comment below which one you like the best um and i've also done it's your day roll with it happy father's day that's with the dice on there and again i've stamped the background so i've used a uh, pacific point uh, for the stamping of the background and it is pacific point card um and I've backed it with a uh, Knight of Navy. And in this one, it just says, I hope your, hope your day is full of fun and games. And I've also done this one, which I'm quite impressed with myself. Um, again, with Happy Father's Day, I've backed it onto a uh, pretty peacock. And this is how the stamps, uh, the chess pieces stamp out. Um, I did stamp off twice to get the effect for the white ones. And the black one, I've actually used my um, my basic black blends. This is the dark and there is a light. Is that the light? Yeah. And the light. And it actually does give quite a good effect down it. Um, again, the same stamp set. The only difference being is I've taken, uh, you do a great job of being a great guy out of um, a good man. This is this one in here um because i'll probably be doing a father's day card with this as well but um i took the sentiments out of there because um some of these will be going to the same family so i don't want them to have the same sentiments 
so that's my cards for today and i hope you've enjoyed that uh, like i say let me know in the comments which one you prefer out of those um, have a nice day and i'll speak to you all soon bye